PC Mac. Today we are going to install Android TV on Raspberry Pi. Before starting this video, I would like you to please go ahead and visit the website. The website link is right here PC Mac forward slash Android TV on Raspberry Pi. And you can find all the download links here on the right side of the website. So let's do it. Now from the website you can download the essential softwares first of all the android image so once you click on it it will directly take you to the download page and you need to download the 14.1 image that is 7.1.2 and after that you need to download g apps that is for the android tv and the version that we are using is 7.1 and we need to download the tv stock g apps the third thing that we need to download is recovery to boot and you can just click here and it will take you directly to the download link recovery to boot dot zip and you can find all these links right here in this document as well if you want to follow that document it's right here from Consta Kang so you can follow this document as well you can find all the details here now once you downloaded all three files let's just go ahead and save these files to an external storage I'm using a flash drive so let me go ahead and insert the flash drive to the computer I have already downloaded these three images let's let me just show you so here is the unofficial Consta Kang image for Raspberry Pi 3 I'm using Raspberry Pi 3 model B for this project this image is only compatible with Raspberry Pi 3 B and the second thing that is here is recovery to boot and the G app so we need to move these two files to the external storage so I named it as Android and it's moving to the external storage device I have already installed the Android to the Raspberry Pi to save the time of this video so let's just move ahead and go to the Android screen on my Raspberry Pi now we are on the Raspberry Pi and uh, as you can see the Android is installed on our Raspberry Pi model 3B now what we need to do first of all we need to enable the developer option how we can do that is we need to just open the settings as I already in the settings and we need to move to about tablet that's the last option and from here we need to go on to the build number and we need to tap it six to seven time let's just do that it's right here build number and you just need to continuously tap on it and it will enable the development settings so we are the developer now let's just go and click here and move down and open the developer options so once we are the developer what we need to do is we need to take the root access of our Android for that we need to move down and from here we need to enable the root access apps and ADB just press the space bar to select the option and ok and once you do that the next step is we need to enable the local terminal for that we need to just move down and from here let's just enable the local terminal as well now we need to restart our system that is a raspberry pi how we can do that we need to press and hold the f5 key to reboot the machine and once you do that you will see all these options power off restart and airplane mode so let's just go ahead and restart the system and I'll be back so we are here uh, on the screen again and we are in we already enabled the local terminal and as you can see the terminal is right here now what we need to do is we need to open the terminal and once the terminal is open it asks some permissions so let's just go ahead and allow and from here let's just type su that is super user and again remember my choice 
and allow now what we need to do is we need to boot our machine into recovery I have already inserted the external storage that is a flash drive to the Raspberry Pi and I have both files in that flash drive that is the G apps and recovery to boot now let's just go ahead and reboot the machine by typing the command rpi3 minus recovery dot sh and hit enter and as you can see done reboot the device let's just go ahead and reboot now the system is rebooted successfully into the recovery let's just click on swipe to allow modifications once it's done what we need to do is we need to install the G apps that is the Android TV apps so our Raspberry uh, so our Raspberry Pi can work as Android TV for that what we need to do is we need to click on install and then click on select storage and that is our USB OTG okay and here we have two files open G apps and then we need to just flash the drive this will allow us to install the Android TV apps as you can see open G apps TV stock 7.1 and it's mounting it will take a moment to install please wait Now the G apps are successfully installed on our Raspberry Pi. What we need to do is we need to click here, wipe. It's done. Just go back. Click on the top right corner. Now we need to click on wipe again and we need to click on swipe to factory reset. It's done. Just go back and click on the top right corner. Now what we need to do is we need to install the recovery to boot file to get out from this recovery mode. What we need to do is we need to again click on install and then you can see right here lineage 14.1 RPI3 recovery to boot just select this file and swipe to confirm flash. Once it's done just click on reboot system and just click on swipe to install and it's just rebooting the machine and it will directly take us to our Android system and the installation will begin in a moment so it might take around five minutes to boot to this screen so let's just go ahead and configure the machine one more time Now as you can see we are right here on our Android TV screen you can see the recommendation from YouTube and everything is working you can just check move down the screen try to play anything let's just click on this one and check whether it's working or not as you can see YouTube is loading I'll not play any video here this is just to show you you have to check at your end it's working so guys that's it from my end if you have any questions any doubt about this video you can write them down in the comment section if you like my work please hit the subscribe button share this video with your family and friends thank you for watching bye bye take care have a nice day